Okay. So with that, let's go ahead and heal up and rearrange the party a bit. Okay, I'm gonna need Sir not appearing in this film. Let's get you out here. Uh, let's see here. Gods, there aren't too many I want to replace right now. Yeah, we'll let Sly take a rest. Because I want to give some of the other Pokemon that I caught some, uh, some good screen time there. Okay, so, hand out some more Everstones. One for Stifle. And one for Layabout. <laughs> A fisherman obsessed with what if he has to go to the bathroom. Ah, Tentacool, the zoo bad of the seas. But hey, at least it's not a magic card. Oh, don't you do it. You did it. So at least Uproar is a pretty decent move. Yeah, for anyone who wanted to see the poison effect out of battle. While poisoned, you constantly lose health while moving around in the overworld. In later generations, it wouldn't outright make the Pokémon faint. Instead, once they got down to 1 HP, the poison would be cured. I think in 3rd gen it still would actually uh, take you out, though. And hey, what was I saying about at least it wasn't a Magikarp? Oh wow, you can at least survive an uproar, though. Wismer has a special ability called Soundproof. If sound-based moves such as Growl or Hyper Voice are used against it, they will not be effective. So that's kind of interesting. But they can yell and cry as much as they want. Uproar is kind of an automatic move. It works for a few turns and is decently powerful early on like this. Still going. Okay, so... Oh, wait. Another phone number. Okay, then. So, let's see here. Antidote, antidote. I know I have some of them. We're gonna go ahead and put Cadet Blue back in the lead for now. He's pretty well suited to the things in this cave. Hey you, it gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. That guy who came by earlier, Steven I think it was, he knew how to use Flash, so he ought to be alright, but... Well, for us hikers, helping out those that we meet's our motto. Here you go, I'll pass this on to you. And so we get the most useless hidden machine. It was actually demoted to a technical machine in later games. In battle, all Flash does is... It's basically a glorified sand attack. It lowers the enemy's accuracy. Out of battle, though, it lights dark caves.
Here you go, sir, not appearing in this film. Now you will leer with headlights. Alright. So we're in a cave now, so we're constantly going to run into wild Pokemon. Hey there, Makuhita. I already trained one of you. It's a pretty simplistic design, but I kind of like it for some reason. And we have an escape rope. And everything has gotten darker. The really sad part? It doesn't even get fully lit up, just partially. We can't go up, of, uh, up these little slippery areas without a special kind of bike, and we won't be getting that for a while. Alas, wrong gender. I'm actually after a female Aron. Free Pokeball. Hi there, Sableye. I really like Sableye. Alas, I've already trained one, and it can't evolve anyway. With it being verified that its uh, alternate version counterpart, Mawile, got a Mega Evolution, I kind of wonder if Sableye will get one. It would look pretty cool. There we go, Zubat. Hi there. I was wondering why I wasn't running into one of you every other step. Oh sure, now you give me an Everstone. Well, I guess now I have 31 of them. I was hoping our own would be more common. It's the only thing in this cave I actually need. So many things that look like they should be hidden item spots, but aren't. Boy, it's a shame I wasn't after a Makuhita. They seem to be very common. Again. Oi. Desire sensor. Hi there, Abra. You evolve into my favorite Pokemon, Kadabra. Good times. My name is Steven. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me. Job one complete. Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. Let me see, I'll give you this TN. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. Your Pokémon appear quite capable. If you keep training, you could even become the champion of the Pokémon League one day. That's what I think. I know. Since we've gotten to know each other, let's register one another in our Pokenovs. Phone number! Now oh, I've got to hurry along. I don't know why I thought there was actually something hidden in here. I guess not. So, yeah, before we actually move on, I want to find that blasted air on. So, I believe you actually have to be on at least the first basement floor to find them. So, back when what I'm looking for shows up. So, 
there's the little lady I'm after. Alright, we'll let Kinopio deal with this. Given it's a Japanese name, I'm guessing it's another of those that you're not supposed to stress any of the syllables, which is still kind of tricky for me to get used to. I keep wanting to pronounce it Kinopio like Pinocchio, but I highly doubt that's right. I want to go ahead and get Paralysis on this, Aaron. Negative effects like Paralysis, Sleep, and Freeze, they can make it easier to capture a wild Pokémon. That mud slap lowering my accuracy didn't do anybody any favors. Well, other than the Aaron, I guess. Okay. Hopefully that's enough. There we go. Aaron Get. A Pokémon that is clad in steel armor. A new suit of armor is made when it evolves. The old discarded armor is salvaged as metal for making iron products. There we go. With that, we're mostly done in Duford. There is one item I want to be sure and pick up, though. Can we get out without encountering more Zubat? Kinda surprised I wasn't attacked by too many. That's usually the plague of caves. Alright. Gorge your eyes on this. It's a silk scarf. It's right at the cutting edge of fashion. Yeah! Oh, I can see your eyes twinkling. You appreciate my dazzling style. Oh, you're a delight. Here you go. I want you to have it. Silk Scarf is another type strengthening item. It makes normal type attacks stronger. So it's a pretty good bet for a lot of different Pokémon, really. Let's rearrange the team a little bit, heal everybody up. Let's see here. I don't need any more HM moves for now. I will eventually. Ah, uh, let's see. Can I keep you around? I haven't gotten to use you too much. And let's go ahead and get you back in the party. Yeah, that seems fair for now. Alright. So I don't want to give an Everstone to either of the Pokémon I just brought out. Mabby doesn't need one, and Sly, I want him to still be able to get free loot for us. But I can give the Silk Scarf to Nabi. He's supposed to be wearing a scarf anyway. Alright. So, we're done with Duford. Off to Slateport with us. Who's that Pokémon? It's Taishi!